guys. My name is Sophia Christian and I'm a wife of 16 years and a mother of five. I'm also a digital storyteller, movie lover, and a woman on the path of figuring out her true purpose in life. And that's why learning of my family's lineage is so important to me. I believe knowing where I come from is essential to understanding the complexities and diversity of who I am. Understanding my history helps reveal lost family memories and allow each subsequent generation to feel more connected with their heritage and culture. All of us carry DNA that tells us a unique story about our ancestry. Every generation is birthed with these stories within them, which we, in turn, play out in our own lives in some form or fashion, whether it be through career choices, positive and negative habits, likes, dislikes, and overall lifestyle. Some of you may remember that John and I went through African Ancestry to get our maternal DNA test done. Now, African Ancestry has four tests that must be taken to see the complete story of one's lineage. You will need to take a separate test for your mother's mother's lineage, your mother's father, your father's mother, and your father's father. So far, we took the test of our mother's mother and was amazed by the results. African ancestry traces one's ancestry back to a specific present day country and specific tribe going back more than 500 years. If you haven't done so, you can go check out our video on that now. Recently, I chose to check out Ancestry.com to compare the results to African ancestry and see all the different parts that make up who I am. And I have to say y'all, what I found out was interesting and enlightening. So let's get right into the results. The following percentage of my ancestral makeup via Ancestry.com are as follows. Cameroon, Congo, and Southern Bantu peoples is 34%, Benin, Togo, 33%, Ivory Coast, Ghana, 12%, England, Wales, and Northwestern Europe, 10%, Mali, 7%, Norway, 2%, Ireland and Scotland, 1%, African South Central Hunter Gatherers, also known as the Pygmy People, 1%. Cool, huh? I thought so too. But about a couple months later, after initially finding out this amazing info, I received a notice from Ancestry.com saying that my results have changed. I was shocked to say the least. After I logged in, I saw that there was a drastic difference from my previous results. So my current results that has been updated by ancestry.com is the following nigeria 39 percent cameroon congo southern bantu peoples 22 percent mali 15 percent england wells and northwestern europe eight percent benin and togo eight percent ghana three percent ireland and scotland three percent germanic europe one percent Southern and Eastern African hunter-gatherers, also known as the Pygmy people, 1%. So, what do I make of this? Honestly, I am not sure. But what I will say is that as science and technology advances, more information and revelations will be made available to us. But unfortunately, I must surmise that though I appreciate the ability to narrow down the location and historical evidence of my ancestry, it is in no way 100% accurate. But that's okay. I do believe that the DNA tests do point us in the initial direction of who we are and where we come from, but we must understand that it may never give us the entire picture of who we are. I must add that many of my extended family members share specifically my Cameroonian roots, so that leads me to believe there is some truth to this, and for that I am grateful. So there it is fam. This is what I know so far about my genetic makeup and I have a flood of emotions going on right now. I'm excited, intrigued, bewildered, and anxious to learn as much as I can about me and my heritage. So have you taken your ancestry DNA test or African ancestry test? Are you planning to? Have you found out anything that shocked you? Let me know and leave a comment below. Alright fam, so that's it for now. See you on the other side. Peace. <music>